Hello everybody, Eric back here. Been a while since I uh, made a video. It, you know, winter time, it's uh, not a whole lot going on. Just got some projects going, uh, new garden beds for spring, and uh, we're headed downhill to February now. So I'll be starting a lot of seeds for the upcoming season. Starting to get excited about the gardening season and spring. But uh, I wanted to bring you a video about this tree. Very special. To me, I grew up with these. Uh, they grow on the hilltops here uh, in the rocky, sandy soil. Uh, poor soil a lot of times. It's a Vaccinium arboreum. It's in the blueberry family. Uh, tree huckleberry, sometimes they call f uh, farkleberry. Um, but uh, we always called them huckleberries growing up. And they uh, have a black fruit, uh, blueberry-like fruit. And they don't bloom until I think it's uh, early uh, May, late April, early May. So they escape a lot of the late freezes. Um, they have the normal blueberry top shaped bell flowers um, and uh, the bees just love them. But they, they start getting ripe in September. So this fruit has been hanging on this tree since September, since it got ripe in September. We've been, uh, we have a lot of these trees around uh, on the hilltops here, and they vary some in genetics. You know, some are sweeter, some are have bigger berries, um, some are juicier, uh, some are a little astringent. But if you find the right one, the right trees, and they, they sucker up from the roots around the, the mother tree, so, so the, it, you know, you, they're easy to propagate if you find a good one. So anyway, I'll st uh, put this tripod up here and see if I can get uh, some of the fruit. Now, they're, uh, they're a little smaller than blueberries, most big blueberries, but you can see the six foot ladder there. We've been picking these things with, and this tree here is probably 16 or 18 foot tall. Uh, some of those branches stick way up there. And there's some down by uh, the creek here that are uh, well over 20 feet tall. But I don't know how old this tree is. I would say 15 years because I, I left it here when I made the garden. Um, I found it growing when I was clearing for the garden. I left it here and it's gotten pretty good size. Now here are some of the berries. You can see the size here. Pretty good size berries for a, for a tree that leaves its fruit on all winter, fall and winter for you to eat. You can see they're a little drier than regular blueberries, but this particular tree is very sweet and it's not astringent at all. Some trees are smaller berries, a little more astringent. And I've heard that uh, there um, some some maybe universities, I can't remember, are experimenting with grafting the Vaccinium ashei uh, rabbit eye blueberry to these rootstocks. And you can see all the fruits. Now these have been hanging here since ripe, since September. The birds don't seem to care for them. I've seen the squirrels eat them some, but I'm going to go ahead and eat these and I'm going to try to pull this branch down and get a perspective on just how many fruits were on this. Just amazing production. This is just one tree and these grow everywhere around here. But anyway, they stand a little bit higher pH than um, other blueberries. So that's one of the reasons I think they were trying to graft them, graft the rabbit eyes onto them. Not to mention their vigor and their huge size. But this fruit goes all the way, still loaded up all the way around this tree. But anyway, just wanted to make everybody aware that this tree exists. It's pretty awesome, January 13th, to still be picking ripe fruit in Zone 7. We've been down to 24, I think. And a lot of times we do get colder than that, but not so far this year. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching Vaccinium Arboreum, the tree huckleberry.